Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make these super easy Christmas cards. So um, this is using the Sizzix Thin Lit Die. I will show you which one here in just a second. And um, regular cardstock paper. This is the uh, craft color. So, um, and then I bought the package of um, different colors of cardstock from Hobby Lobby. And they'll be about $2.50 a pack. So, um, this one right here is going to be super easy. You just cut out and um, ink up the edges of your Christmas tree and inked up the sides. I use the Cricut Maker to cut this and score this, as well as write Happy Holidays. And um, this one I didn't write on the inside, but this one I did. So, let me show you that real quick. So, I wrote on the inside of this one. So, I wrote it on the outside. I'm going to show you guys how to do that so you can have it on front and back. So this one right here, I did more detail. So this is the same design, just using more detail. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So let me show you what I did on the design space. So number one, I got a square. So let me hide this really quick so I can kind of show you guys what I did. Let me just hide this. Okay, so what I did is I came over here to shapes and I took a square. I tried to use the template here, but once you um, go to the to uh, cut it out, the template's gonna go away, of course, so it's not gonna do what it's supposed to do, so that's just sitting there. Um, but you can use it to at least design your cards, and um, that way you can see what you're doing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unlock, which is right here, you're gonna get that unlocked, and I come up here on the width, and I'm going to put 6.5 by 10. So there we go, so there's our base of our card. Then, as usual, I go, I'm going to lock that back really quick. As usual, I come over here and change it to white just so I can see what I'm doing. It's just easier to work with. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this lined up on some squares here. So that way I can see my exact measurements. So that way I can see exactly where to put my score line. So I'm going to come up back over here to shapes. I'm going to get my score line. It's right here. So I'm going to drag my score line. I'm going to come up here to rotation where it says rotation, which is right here. And I'm gonna change this and put uh, 90 degrees because I want it to turn. And there we go. So then I'm gonna bring this down to the center. So what I'm gonna do is I know this is 10, so I'm gonna count down five. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to get it right in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stretch this out. Then I'll use my arrows to kind of get it to this side just like that. And then I'm gonna just gonna continue to stretch that out to where I need it to be, just like that. So that looks good to me, so there's my score line. So the next thing that we're gonna do, so you can see that score line right here, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my wording. And we use this happy holidays right here. This lettering's yours, yours truly. Um, so you'd have happy holidays here. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna walk you through this first part here, and then we're gonna show you how we're gonna do the next side. Okay, so I've got my paper here on my map, so we're gonna go ahead and get it loaded. And I'm gonna come over here and say, let me go ahead. First, before you send it to the mat, you wanna hit attach. So let me attach all of that. And then the first thing that we need in here is our score tool. I need to put my blade back in. And this is the blade that I use, my silver one. I use it for cutting paper. You can use the the silver or the gold is the same, but I have one designated to paper. So we're going to choose uh, medium card stock. And we're going to hit the go button. Okay, and I did this on two times the speed. And the writing and everything came out perfect. I just forgot to click that before I started here. So we're going to go ahead and hit the go button again. So this is right in our happy holidays. And now it's gonna go ahead and get ready to cut. Now you can see that happy holidays. Okay, we're gonna unload it. And now this is our next step. This is what we're gonna do. So what you're gonna do when you go to take it off the mat, 
is, I'm gonna leave my pen in there because we're fixing to use it again. I'm gonna leave this outer, that's very important. Don't move it so you can know to put this back in the exact same position. So I'm gonna very carefully remove this from the mat and now I'm gonna flip it around. So normally your writing is right here and your top would be like this. So you wanna make sure you put it back in there so this is gonna be upside down. So let me show you that again. So if you notice, this is where the top is. So you want that where you just wrote back up here at the top upside down make sure it's underneath and you want to just line that back up right where it was so see how that works so that way you can get your writing right in the, the right placement okay okay so now that we're back over here what I did was you're going to hide your you're gonna hit the little eyeball and you're gonna hide your writing for the happy holidays and you're also gonna hide your score line because you don't need to score it anymore so then what you're gonna do is you're going to type out whatever you're wanting to put on the inside here. So I just found a little Christmas quote. And so you're gonna go ahead and type that out. And I, what I did was I came up here once I was done and I centered it. So once you have this all ready to go, I'm gonna make sure that it's attached and it is. So I'm gonna go to make it. And what we're gonna do this time is we have our pin in there. We're gonna take our, um, our blade out so we can pretend that it's cutting. Okay, so we're back over here at the machine. We've got our paper in here upside down. And we're gonna go ahead and load it. Back to card stock, because you really don't have to do that at this point because um, you know it's not gonna cut, but I go ahead and do that. This is where we're gonna remember to pull our blade out because I don't want it to recut. So I'm gonna pull the blade out and we're gonna act like it has a blade. So just like that, and now I'm gonna hit go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take it out. So you see how it just pretended that it was cutting? No big deal. So now what you're going to do is you're going to pull it off. And you can now throw that piece in the trash. So what you're going to do is, so see, now you have that on your inside, and this is the top. So what we're going to do is you're just going to fold it in half like this on your score line and just crease it. So then you take your bone folder and get that real big crease. So now see you have your card. So that's how you would write on the front and back of it. So just in case you guys were wondering, so now let's go ahead and finish up the card. So now we're gonna come over here and use our Tim Holtz um, die cutting machine. And we're gonna use the uh, thin lit dies and it's going to be this Christmas tree run right here. And I'm not too sure if the name of it is Caitlin Lazardi. Um, and if it's, you know, what the name too sure is on this one. Because it just says the Caitlin Lazardi, so I'm not too sure. So anyways, it is the newest um, Christmas tree design that they have right now. And it comes with a bunch of little pieces in the Christmas tree that we're going to use. So we're just going to use the Christmas tree. So the die that we're using for that is this one right here. And you can see I've already been using it. And when you get little pieces like that, you can take your little Cricut tool here or whatever you have and just kind of poke those out really quick okay so this is the die that we're going to be using right here just this one so what we're going to do is create our sandwich so i've got my two shims on top and then my uh clear on top of this and then i've got my green paper and then i'm going to put my die down i'm going to put it right here i'm going to go ahead and put my top on top of my sandwich and then we're going to go ahead and feed this little guy in here. So now we're just going to go ahead and feed this through here. Okay. And this is what we're going to get. Um, oop. Already lost it. So this is, hold on, it's between my sandwich. All right, so here is our Christmas tree. And any little pieces, you can just really rub them out. You can take your Cricut tool and just kind of pop them. Let me show you really quick. So you would then just take your little pieces like this and pop them out. 
See how nice that did? So you need two of these. And I've already got my pieces cut out, so we're gonna go ahead and come back over here and get our project going. Okay, so this is the first one that I created that I showed you, and this is the one that I'm gonna show you. But if you wanted to, you can get into it as much detail as you want to. You could line up several Christmas trees if you wanted to, or you could do a snowman, whatever you wanted to do. I just kind of wanted to show you. But what's neat about using the Sizzix as Sizzix at the same time as the Cricut, as while the Cricut's doing its job and doing all this, you could be cutting your Christmas trees out. But now if you want, if you don't have a Sizzix or a cuddle bug or anything like that, and you don't have a little die, you can always, there is Christmas trees that's similar to this in the design space. So definitely check that out. And I'll try to link the name of those down below as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me show you how I created this. I'm gonna go ahead and get this inked up. So the first one that I used was my, um, this is a uh, candied apple. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna get some ink going here. And what you do is just kinda come down on your map, mat and bring it in. So I did this all the way around the front and you can actually, so you don't get it on your back there, you can actually lay it like this when you start to come around. So I'm just going to keep bringing this around. You can bring it up as high as you want to. I just try to go around the edging. And you can use whatever colors you want to do or whatever you have. Okay, and when I do the back, I just fold it in half like so. Okay, so there is my red. So now we're going to come back and I went in with brown. I just lightly went in with the brown, so I'm using the same sponge, just in a different area. So the same sponge here I use for red, brown, and black. I just use different corners, so I'm just kind of lightly going around the edging here. So I'm not going in as deep as I did with the red. And these are the Tim Holtz Oxide inks. So there is that. Now we're gonna come in with the black. Okay, so now we're gonna come in with the black. And I'm using my same sponge. This time, I just kinda of picked it up and lightly came around the edges here. Now you could rub it in if you wanted to and just kind of work way out here and just kind of barely bring it in just a little bit. So you can kind of just do it however you want to. You just want to lightly go around those edges. So this gives it like that little rustic vintagey look. So there we go. So there is our outside edging. So the next step that I do is I am going to take my what I have left on my sponge and I'm going to try to work and I may have to add a little bit but I'm going to work right in the center area so it can be back behind my tree. So I'm just going back behind so this is what's on my sponge and I'm just pushing in and this kind of helps too to get whatever's remaining on your sponge. So I'm just creating like a shadow effect. So then you can take your tree, and we know it'd be about that wide to figure out, you know, if that's enough shadowing. I think I wanna come up just a little bit more. So I think that'll be good. So there is what's gonna be behind the tree. So now what I did for the tree is, this is how we're going to put it together. So this one, so you're gonna take your first one, you're going to fold these edges in here, right? So we're folding it in half, just like so. Then you're also going to fold this piece in. I like to do it one at a time so I don't tear it up. And then so this is actually going to stand up like this. And this will come up like this. So now for the second side, you're going to do it this way. So we're going to flip it, and this is going to be on this side. We're going to fold the middle in.
and then we're going to take this and fold this in just like so so now we can pop this little guy out so now what you're going to do is now what we need to do is so you have this side like this this side like this you're going to take either some glue glue dots hot glue whatever you want to use uh, your little tape runner and we're going to attach it like this so now either a you can start inking it up at this point so that way you don't have to do that while it's put together and that's what I like to do so I'm just going to show you really quick and then we'll kind of zoom past this and bring it towards the end Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my glue runner. So I actually just laid it flat like this and came straight down the center here. And then I just took and actually came down on my two pieces that come together a little bit. And then I just took it like these are going to be back. So you don't want to make sure those don't get stuck together. You want to stick it together like so. Now, if you feel like your glue runner's too big, like I said, you can use glue dots, you can use whatever. But this is going to be stuck down on the back anyway, so I don't care that it has glue on there. So now you can either, A, you can do foam on the back. So this is what I did. So I kind of laid this flat a little bit. So what I did was I took my scissors. But at this point, you could just run the glue runner across it, or you can do glue dots. So we're going to just take it and stick foam on there. So I just get several little spots. Then I'm gonna stick my foam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this one in half this way. I'll run it right down the middle, like so. Then I'm gonna cut this one in half this way. Gonna glue dot, gonna get our pieces like so. So I think I'm gonna get one more tiny little piece for the top and that'll be good to go. So I'm gonna get one more piece for right in here just to kind of help stabilize it a little bit. There we go. So then what I did is I took my Cricut tool or whatever you have that's sharp and you can pull off your backing here. Once all your backing's off, what you're going to do is you're going to now take it over to, what you're going to do is you're going to come right over here to your card, and we're just going to center it up. So I figure out where my center is, and then I'm going to go ahead and get it placed down. Okay, so what I do is I take a little bit of glossy accents to kind of get my two pieces of my tree together here. Sorry, my husband's mowing in the background. And I just kind of hold those together for just a second. Now make sure, because I showed you whenever I was doing that, make sure when you're inking, you, you ink both sides of these middle pieces. You actually don't have to do the inside, the one side that's actually going to be closed in. Make sure it's the sides that you're going to see. So I actually showed you inking the ones that's actually going to be glued together. But I go ahead and ink at least the edgings of those two because you're going to still kind of see a little bit of those. So, But make sure you get that center. Okay, so now that I've got that glossy accents, the last thing that I have to do is put on my bow. So for the bow here, I just got some um, ribbon right here. It's some cute little checkered uh, white and red. I've had it in my stash for a long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and create my bow and we'll come back and put it on. Okay, so now what I do is I, because I tie my bow on the string before I cut it off so I can keep my length. Like I said, once again, sorry, my husband's mowing outside. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of trim this at an angle. Let me get it back up here a little bit. Just gonna trim this at an angle. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim this one a little bit more like so. All right, so what I do to, um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the bow right here on the top. So I just kind of bring those down a little bit because I'm going to set the, the bow right here on the top. And what I use for that is a glue dot. So I just take my little handy dandy glue dots and I tear one off and I get it on the back here. So I just get it on the back here and it's stuck on there. So then what I do is I just take it over here and right here at the top. Just hold that down a little bit, like so. Kind of get that a little like so. So there it is, so there's your card. So just nice and easy, just like that. So there's the front, and if you open it up, there it is. And you can always ink the inside just a little bit if you wanted to. And then on the back, you could also, so whenever you went to draw Happy Holidays, you could put something on here and just flip it upside down. Sorry about my hand, I always draw my hand with my Cricut pens to make sure they work first. So you could actually like draw on a little Christmas tree or um, a handmade by, you could add your name and stuff like that. So there it is, your three dimensional tree. Now you can add these into an envelope. You're just gonna fold them flat like this and it'll go right on into an envelope. And then when they pop it out, they can just pop up all their little pieces. So there it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you guys, like I said, so this is that first one that I created and um, you can dress it up as much as you want to. So on this one that I kind of dressed up a little here, all I did was um, I took the blue Tim Holtz. So I came around just like I did with the other card, but I stopped. So I did the blue part first. So I came and created like some heels with my blue, came back, outlined with uh, my white gel pen, and then went over it with the glitter gel pen to add this effect here. I've had these gel pens for years and years and years. They're just the brand Jelly Roll. And here is, this one is like gold, sorry. This is the uh, Jelly Roll, I wanna say it's like the Galaxy or something like that. But um, Clear Star is, what is, is the name of it, Clear Star. So that is, and I've had these for years. Um, and so what I did was I just went around with the gold one here and then um, I put me some snowflakes and then right in the center of those put some dots. I trimmed the Christmas tree with the gold pin as well, all the way around there. And I filled in the circles that are already cut out on the background with um, with little white dots and filled in the pieces of the leaves with the little gold as well. But you could always take like some little, um, like the ranger, you could take like that little red puffy and create the little red balls if you wanted to. And like I said, I used the berries. Um, for the berry, I purchased these from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a big old bundle like this. And I just plucked one off and glued it right on the top, but you could put a bead, a button, whatever you wanted to do. So I just wanted to give you guys some inspiration for starting your Christmas cards and show you how easy it was to use Cricut Maker or your Cricut machine, Silhouette, whatever you have, to create your Christmas cards this year. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button down below and like this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.